GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The Chennai cells let the celebrations begin. Hello and welcome to Galata Plus. In this video review episode, we are going to be talking about Jitu Joseph's Nere. The film is a solid courtroom drama woven around a blind rape survivor. A cop comes into a house to investigate a rape complaint. He is received by the survivor's father, a businessman who runs a curio shop. The man is also a sculptor who has taught his stepdaughter his skills. Yes, the 20-something survivor who is blind is his second wife's child and he has two other sons from his earlier marriage. Nehru has been written by director Jitu Joseph and Shanti Maya Devi. It is a pure a writer's movie. This is not something you watch for the craft or for the staging. You watch it because each of those details about the father, the mother, the stepdaughter, the sculpting, everything comes together in a satisfactory knot. This is the kind of movie where the leading man, the loser lawyer played by Mohan Lal is pitted against his rich and successful ex-girlfriend, a shark of a lawyer played by Priyamani. Dramatic doesn't even begin to describe the setup. The film works at a watchable but nothing more level. So let's look at why it could have been so much more. The Mohanlal Priyamani relationship for one could have been exploited more. The way it plays out, she could have been a random lawyer, not necessarily an ex and nothing would have turned out differently. I know, don't miss her snarky smiles, namely her reaction shots. The film has enough reaction shots for a dozen mega serials. The Mohanlal character is supposed to be out of form, literally and figuratively. His girth makes it difficult for him to put on his lawyer's clothes and he also has not been practicing law for a long while. I lost touch, I am not confident anymore, he says, but he seems to do just fine in court. His rustiness could have been exploited more. But where it matters, Nere delivers. Like I said, this is a solid writer's movie and the writing works more often than not. Siddiq plays the best kind of villain, the kind who makes you want to leap out of your seat and strangle him. The questioning of the survivor, he tries to slut shame her. This questioning leads to one of the film's best whistle moments when we are told that today's new generation of women is not the kind who will bottle up the humiliation. Instead, they will talk openly about rape. Anaswara Rajan plays the survivor and not for a moment do we see her weep or wail. She has a moment of rage or frustration and another one where she fears someone else is in her room all over again. These small psychological touches make her human instead of a victim. Her last scene is tremendously moving. She makes a statement without uttering a single word. Mohanlal is in good form as a man who seeks justice for the rape survivor. If he underplays his part, it's also because a a lot of the time the writing is understated. One of the times it is not understated is when pre-interval the accused man is proved guilty in the eyes of the audience. Without this scene there might have been some more interesting ambiguity about what really happened. But apart from the bad guys none of the people are shown in conventional colors. The parents of the young women are not ashamed and they are not afraid of what society will say. The legal team they hire is nothing but understanding. Winning the case is one thing, but how lovely that she has already won in one way by having all these people around her. Nehru may not be great cinema, but it's one heck of a yarn. It's hard not to be drawn in. And that's it about Nehru. If you like this video, do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies. GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The Chennai Sales let the celebrations begin.